Sigma. Sigma. Sigma is gonna feed the beast today. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed the beast. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed the beast. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Welcome back to another thrilling episode of Feed the Beast. Again, I am Sigma. We're standing over here at my quarry. Just wanted to show you this real quick before we started. It is all the way down at level 18, I believe. 17 or 18. So we might be at the point where we might start seeing some diamonds. Um, yep, it's, it's digging through 18. As you can see, there's little caves. There's some lava down there. Um, the lava's gonna stop it, so I might have to come back and throw some stuff on it. Oh, there's some, like, dead fish. Um, but just want to show you that real quick. Today we're gonna be talking about this little guy in my hand. The bee. Ooh, better turn my hover mode on before I fall. So, the other thing I'm gonna be showing you a little bit about what I've been doing is with the tree breeding. Um, so before we go down there, let me make a grafter or two, because that will get us uh, a sapling from our our hybrid tree. I have some sticks somewhere. Uh, I, I don't have sticks, I can't believe it. Oh, I'll just make some new ones. Ooh. Hello, Mr. B. Boom, there we go. So for this grafter, it's essentially sticks and bronze. And that'll give us a, a grafter, and that's just a cool tool to get get leaves out. Uh, centrifuge is this guy. Let's chop those puppies up. I need to make my my Kevlar bee suits so that I don't get poisoned with those tropical bees over there. So, I'll show you what that's all about in a second, but it's daytime and I don't want to get poisoned during the day and, and take a lot of damage. So, we're going to come up here and look at these bees because basically I've been doing a little bit of experimenting with the cultivated and the commons, I'm trying to make those next level bees. Um, and I'm also trying to get these diligent bees. The diligent bees are going to help to get the, um, I'm not putting impregnated from it, those are from the Costa Mesa town over there. Oh, no one's going on in there. We got anyone here. Perfect. Um, the diligent bees are going to help, uh, ooh, yes. How oh, do I have a, god, see, getting all these special ones, and I'm running out of princesses over here, but that's okay. Yeah, she's going to get moved. Um, so, I've, I'm trying to get these guys right here, and as you can see, I've got a couple drones, but these, look at that, majestic, noble, 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 noble. So I've got one, I've got five five noble princesses. So, and I only but I only have three majestic drones right now. So, she's going to have to chill for a bit because I want to breed the majestics with the nobles and that will get us the big daddy bees. So, let's do that. Let's, you know, actually let's analyze these guys and see which one see which one of these two guys is better. See which one see which one works best with our princess who's already identified. Where's our bee Eliza? Let's, let's give him a little inspection. Let's see what's up in, with with uh, the let's see what these guys are up to. Okay, so here's this majestic. What do we got? She needs flowers. She's got a short lifespan. Her common has is pretty fertile, but her active one kind of stinks. That's okay. Temperature, don't care about. Don't care about. No. Diligent and cultivated can get us one of these guys too, apparently. But that's not what we're looking for. So you get these majestics. The cultivated and the noble. 
is how I've been getting them. But they can mutate from all these other guys. So, let's take a look at our drones. So he's got a short... Oh, he his, he's, he's pure noble. You got his active and inactive. His, they're both noble, which kind of puts things in his favor right now. Um, but we might we might see maybe the other guy's a little more fertile. He doesn't care about any of that stuff. He's only going to give those combs off for his offspring. So he's this guy's sitting pretty high right now. What we got on this guy? Oh, well, he's about the same. His inactive is a little bit faster, but he needs lily pads. So he's a noble diligent. So I'm thinking for this particular setup here. We're gonna have to go with uh, the this guy who likes the flowers. We don't want the lily pad guy because we don't want those traits to pass on. So we're gonna let these two guys do their thing, and hopefully she gets us some good. Now I only have three of these guys, so let's take these all out. Let's, let's take a look at these because there might be some traits that we want to specifically breed for. Let's bust our Beelizer out. Let's go there. So, 2 by 2 for fertility. Noble, noble. What she got? Noble, noble. 2, 2. So, they're pretty much, those two are the same thing. What do we got here? Noble, diligent. And what's she? Noble, diligent. Her, the fertility on this one's a little bit better. So, we definitely like her the best. She's She's the top choice. Flowers fast. Ooh, this guy's pretty fertile. And his his inactive is pretty fertile. I like that. Same with this one. So these two guys might be the best. Yep, they are majestic noble. Okay. So we're just giving this a little test. We're gonna go with those two like that. Oh, there's no frames in this one. Here we go. Um Noble, majestic, and I've got one more. Oh, there you go. That one's got frames. So let's cook those guys up and see what's going on with them. Um, I've still got another noble princess. I've got two, but I don't have anything to breed them with right now. I want to just, I want to stick with the majestics. I might be able to do the cultivateds. If I do the cultivated, I have a chance of getting some more majestics. So maybe we'll do that. Let's take a look at some of these cultivateds. These bottom ones will be the most <coughs> recent. And so they might have some traits that we want to pass on. Cultivated diligent. Cultivated common. Cultivated common. Alright, none of those guys have anything good. I'm trying to look for their inactive that's got a high um, a higher uh, fertility because that way we can pass on. This guy's got cultivated common um, but he has a 3 on his inactive there. Ooh, here we go. This guy. This guy's good. Got some good stuff. So we're going to definitely use him. 2-4 two, 2-4 four. Two, four. Two. Yeah, so this guy might be the winner of what's going on right now. So let's take him and let's check our princesses and see which one we like better. So two, two flowers. She's purebred noble, looks like. Noble diligent. Mm, they're both kind of meh. So let's do this one, which is Noble Noble, with this Cultivated Diligent Hybrid that's got this right here, the Fertility times 4, and even the Inactive of the Diligent with the times 3. That we want to pass on to her offspring. And not any frames? Come on, or some frames. Well, these guys got to have frames. I have to steal them from one of these other ones. She's got frames. Oh. We'll actually, we'll just put them in here. Let's check these guys real quick. 
Let's see, just in case, you never know, right? Um, let's check him out. What does he got? Oh, wrong split. Wrong spot. He's no good. It's not that he's not good, he's just not great. Yep, not 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 anything special. I mean to his mom he was probably special, but to me, nothing that great. Um, so we want the purebred with the cultivated. Now, I might be completely 150% wrong on how to do this, or what's what, and what traits pass to what. So, I'm no expert. I'm just doing this to have fun. Now, let's show you what I've been up to. Now, this thing, the setup I have here, I have a link for it in the description. Go check out this guy's video. Uh, his name is Goose. I took his, uh, his concept um, and copied copied it on this right here. I think I put one too many and I might have to take that out. But this is his concept, how he has his little setup. And I modified it for this side um, to to basically what's gonna what it so yellow white red. Yeah, okay. So basically what this is gonna be doing and green is anything can go through. Um what this is, is it's going to take items out of here. It's going to send them through some tubes. Items and mutated bees come here. And, ooh, yeah. and then what I'm looking for in these set up here is I want common princesses diligent drones and then this one is common princesses cultivated drones cultivated princesses common drones yada 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 and that way these will pump out and what happens right here and I'll show you this one too but I don't want to show you what's going on down there mm. it sends items all the way through and it'll send all the mutations that I get any meadows that I want to do the meadows manually if, if there are any mm. But it'll basically send the Majestics and the Nobles into this chest, and this is where we collect all the stuff. So there's uh, quite a few drones in here because I've been over here doing stuff. So, the other reason I'm over here, and I might have to make some more frames because I think I'm out. Yeah, frames. I'm gonna need to go grab those frames. Because what I'm going to be doing over here is I am going to be breeding the Rockies and the Diligence. That's what's going to be going on. Um, and I'm going to analyze all these. I'll do that right now off camera and see which Rockies are going to are going to work best if there's if one of these bees is better. Actually, they're all going to stack, huh? I think all the, these guys are going to... Oh, no, they're, they're, some of them are going to be different. Queen and these queens don't stack. But I'm, I'm going to check all these guys mm -hmm. and see which ones are best. Get some more frames and load those up, and I'll be right back. All right. So I basically got to wait till the sun went down again to start recording because there's poison in those bees. So these ones are going to automatically filter and cycle mm -hmm. through princesses and give us our good stuff. And it's it's not a very quick process because of the bees that I'm using and everything. However. We've analyzed our bees, and oh, there's a Meadows Princess in there right now. Oh, these ones are all clean. So, our favorite is her with this guy, because he was bred with a diligent, and that's his little inactive. He had the highest fertility rate. So, she's our favorite Rocky Bee, followed by her. And these ones are all pretty much the same. So, we're going to just do her and her. Oh, I have two diligent princesses. Oh, well, so you lose. So it's going to be her and him. And now we have three diligent drones. Now, let's take these guys, 
and give him the last of our proven frames. Oh, oh, oh. She's got frames. She needs frames. I'm gonna have to go see Beekeeping Dude and ransack his supply. Because I am running low with all these apiaries mm. going. Perfect. Uno, dos, tres. Alright, so these guys for some reason are going. So they might be some nocturnal bees. So, I wonder. There's no one in there. Mm. There's no one in there. 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 So I'm guessing this thing isn't working again. Mm. Oh my gosh. Getting this thing to work has been a dreadful experience. Yeah, I'm not setting some up right. So. It's not working right now. And it's killed, pretty much killed all my bees. So I'm going to hang out until it stops raining and I'll start recording up again when it's not. Okay, well, I did some mm. fidgeting and I'm hoping that this is going to work now. No promises. White comes up for the common drones. Cultivated princesses. So, what's happening is, is once they're, ooh, I don't like your poison, once they're done pollinating and such, they're kind of launching them just out that pipe and into nothingness. They just kind of sit right there, and I don't want that. I want them to repopulate. <laughs> That's what I want them to do, and they're not doing it. She's almost run her cycle. Uh, this is the jungle queen. Somehow, Rocky and Jungle got mixed in that guy. Um, she's giving me these silky combs. Oh, there we go. She's poisoning me. Someone did. Ooh, I'm up to three. So, while those guys are continuing to do their thing, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording while I'm poisoned. So I realize that this poison lasts for 30-something odd seconds. So... I'm going to get a bucket <laughs> and get some milk, because this is annoying. There we go. All better. So, I'm going to drink some milk, or get some milk, because I need to now, going to check and see, okay, I can just fill me up with milk. I'm going to use this grafter here, and what this is going to do is it's going to take where we have mutated. Ooh, oh, I've got another one. So there's at least three on that guy, and there should be three right here. Three or four. So the reason I wanted these pollinating things, and I can't get this second one to work with the, the cultivated, so I might have to do it manually until I can set up a better system. But that one works, and that's fine for its purposes. And I might just set up a couple of these for some biofuel, but you need bees floating around, um mutating or uh, cross pollinating in order to get different trees so I've got spruce and birch I believe and there's a bunch of different trees with different fruit and stuff so we take this grafter and we hit that and that should give us a different tree so that silver birch sapling which is what this thing is even though it's off of spruce and that gave us a mundane larch and that gave us a spruce so from from this spruce tree that had mutated ooh, there's another one right here and it's another spruce it looks like that gave us basically one of those one of those and this new tree, the mundane larch. Oops, stuck. Oh, come on, guys. So, let's see if there's any other mutations on this one. These things look di like these ones stick out way more. As you can see on that guy, it's kind of yellowish. On the birch, it turns more so. Um, so, now in order to see what we've got here, we need a Tree Elizer. Tree. Tree Elizer. So 
we need a carpenter, diamond, copper, and some water. So let me get that all set up. And we'll take a look at what we got. So the treealyzer here works the exact same way as the bealyzer. Runs off honey or sap. So let's take these red spruce saplings. Now, active red spruce, inactive silver birch. So the silver birch is small and the red spruce is average. It gives us all the same. Excuse me. It gives us all the little same kind of information like the bees. No fruits on these guys. Um, it's not showing us any mutations or anything cool. Because these are just the base trees. The silver birch, probably going to be the same thing. So, you know, silver birch, red spruce, um, no fruits, likes the plains, all that stuff. But this is the new, this is the, 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 tr the breeding that we had. So if this guy, this is just a purebred mundane larch. Um, it's fast and it's of average height, no fruits. So this guy's pretty generic when it comes to stuff, because these guys don't bear fruits, but we want fruits. So the only tree that we have that can give us fruit is the oak tree, which is here. So let's see if all oh, these guys don't even stack, because these are different apparently. Red spruce sapling. What are these ones? All oh, these are rubber trees. Silver birch, jungle. Yeah. Oh, cocoa. Oh, fruit cocoa. I wonder if the cocoa like make like a chocolate apple or something. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> so, let's take those guys and let's take these normal spruce saplings. I've got those. Silver birch can suck it. Let's put these bees in here because I'm tired of carrying all these bees around. Oh, 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 oh. get out of here, bees, for the time being. Let's put those honeycombs in there. Is he still doing his thing? Yeah, he is. Um, so, let's take that. Let's take a look at these guys. So, for the oaks, when you analyze them, they turn into apple oaks. And they have fruits. And when we breed them with, for example, the birch tree, let's see if I have a, oh, I do, oh, there's birch trees already down there. So when we breed it with the birch tree and the spruce tree, it'll cause those guys to start bearing fruit and give us some different colored cool woods and stuff. And trees are cool. I was kind of hoping that I could breed, like, those guys around, and those bees are still flying around good. So let's do this. We've analyzed our oak tree. So, let's mix it up over here, and let's see if this guy will grow, if I put him over here, is that the, was that the apple? Yeah, it was good. It just looks different in my inventory now for some reason, it's, and it bugs me. So, he's still doing his, these guys are still doing their thing. I'm not trying to block the light off, so let me move the, the protective wall a little bit. And I'll fix this at a later time. I just need to make a wall so that while I was doing B stuff, I didn't blow up. So let's put him... Let's see if that works. So it's almost nighttime, we'll be able to check those guys, but I got some bone meal so that I could grow him and hopefully now these guys are bees are close enough so that they can pollinate now let's see if he'll grow I don't think he will no he's too close so let's get rid of that right now let's put him in a place where he's gonna touch her. over there there we go now these guys should pollinate and cause some different stuff to happen. Um, where was... oh, here we go. Ooh, we've got up to four. 
what was that? I think that was just a, oh, another mundane march. So these things are pretty much dead after they're, yeah, see, it just broke. Um, so let's see, it's another birch. What was that? Another, that was a spruce. I think that's it on that guy. Oh, here's one more. Oh, that's another birch. They're different. They're all different. So let's take the Monday March. And spring. Spring him. Oh man. Let me turn the sound off. Oh, it's always raining when I don't want it to rain. It's a sign from the universe telling me that it's time to call it, but I want to do this first. So let's take the mundane larch. Let's put them... Let's see if they'll grow right there. Nope. Too close. Oh, oh, I thought that turned into a birch. I was like, oh no, I don't want a birch. I want this mundane larch to give us some fruits. There we go. Man, let's put this other one. Man, tree stay off my bar. Let's put this other one right here. Oh, that might be... I hope that's close enough. I don't think you can grow on that. Let's go right there. Perfect. So now we got the mundane large, which... Ooh, that was a that's a big mundane large. It's got these kind of gray leaves, but the tree trunk looks cool. So now these bees are gonna do their thing, and now I'll have something else to keep updating you on with these tree breeding, which again is why I got all these things set up. So let's see if these guys produced anything. Rockies, she's still going. Just a bunch of Rockies. Ooh, two diligence, good, good, good. So two diligence and a bunch of Rockies. Ooh, so I got three. So let's just recycle those through. No princesses though. Um, so the outsides were the diligence. So let's keep the outsides on those diligence. And her, she's still going. Okay, so let's put those guys in here for now. Now these are rocky with diligent stuff, we just gotta remember that. And let's go look at the other bees now. These are the bees that we had all the cool stuff with. So hopefully, ooh, we got another noble drone. Ancient. Ooh, ancient drone. Common. So this was, this was the majestic, and we just got commons out of that. She's still got a little bit of juice in her. She's got some juice. There's nothing in there. There's not in there. So I got an ancient, but it looks like the majestic got, got mulched out. That is unfortunate. That is just so, so unfortunate. I'm going to have to take a look and see what that majestic or the ancient's for. Because I don't think that was what I was looking for, but I will take it. I will take that to the bank. We did get another noble princess. So we got a noble cultivated some stuff. And these were the good ones, so I'm surprised that one turned into common. Those were two exciting ones, or so I thought. I could have been very, very wrong. Well, that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I've got a couple more things that we're going to have to do. We want to get that UU Matter set up. And one of the things that I want to do to get that is I would love to try and create some lightning rods and maybe a weather maker because... 
that would be a really cool way to, to gather up a lot of UU matter. I'm also going to do some solar panels, um, I think. So I'm going to build some solar panels next time and set up a little um, system for those. Uh, collect a bunch of the resources and just get a bunch of the really low, weak ones. Because the next step is going to require iridium. And I have a couple things of iridium, so I'm going to use those plates to make the solar panels so that we can have some some other power other than the lava, which I'm not running out of, that just isn't producing a very fast quality and a quantity that I'm, I'm looking for for the next level of the Greg Tech stuff. So, as always, my name is Sigma. Thanks for watching my Feed the Beast. We will see you next time, and keep on Minecrafting. Minecraft. Thanks for the view. Sigma, like and subscribe. Sigviver, Sigvival, Sigscriber. All day. Minecraft. Need to be, need to be, need to be, need to be.